Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel, just another fan TV, man. Back action of the video. Like the content of this video. Go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content of this channel. Go ahead and subscribe, man. Look. So, Ravens got some big news yesterday, and the Ravens didn't even sign anybody. Obviously, the Tennessee Titans signed DeAndre Hopkins to a two year deal worth $26 million with, uh, I think, incentives. It can go up to $32 million, right? So, uh, I believe the title of this video is going to be something about. This is a huge win for the Ravens, and it is, right? And obviously, we know why this is a huge win for the Ravens, because DeAndre Hawkins didn't go to the Bills. He didn't go to the Chiefs, okay? Um, the Ravens have big aspirations for this year. Now, obviously, you, you got to start in your division. You got to win your division. You got to beat the Bengals. You got to beat the Browns. got to beat the Steelers. Good te teams that should be good next year, especially the, uh, the Bengals for sure, right? Um, but as far as the AFC getting even tougher, we didn't need DeAndre Hawkins going to the Chiefs. Didn't need him going to the Bills. Teaming up with uh, 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 Stephon Diggs over there or teaming up with Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey over there. We didn't need that, right? Um, so it's great. It's great for the Titans, though, right? Uh, they got, well, we'll see who they play at quarterback. I mean, they'll probably start with Tannehill, but whatever young guy they give a shot to play that season, I think one of the young guys will get a shot, whether it's, um, you know, Malik Willis or Will Levis. Uh, having a guy like DeAndre Hawkins is great for them. Um, safety blanket kind of guy a guy who is still when he played last year come out of suspension he was still putting up numbers so i never really liked the fact that the talk of deandre hawkins is past his prime he can't do this or that no deandre hawkins is still that guy he can still play all right but anyway it was a lot of talk for ravens fans about um you know should we get deandre hawkins hurt feelings and you know who, who who would feel what kind of way about it um but at the end of the day it didn't matter because DeAndre Hawkins, he chased the bag, right? He went after the money. And listen, I've said this many times on this channel. I never, ever um, uh, 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 what, condemn. That's the word I'm looking for. I never condemn a player for going after the money. This NFL, these players go through a violent game, right? They say an NFL plays a car crash every time, right? So imagine doing that 40, 50 plays a game if you're a wide receiver getting hit. You know, 20 times a game, right? You might not get hit as much as a running back, but you can hit a lot, right? So go after the money. Make the money while you can. DeAndre Hawkins did say, yes, he wants to win the Super Bowl and things like that, but that doesn't seem that's like that's going to happen in Tennessee as the they, way they're currently constructed. And hey, look, that's all right, man. He's going to walk away with the game from the game with a lot of money, and that's great too, right? The end of the NFL is a business, right? We, as fans, watch it for the entertainment. I'm a lifelong Ravens fan, been a Ravens fan my whole life. Um, and I love my team, but at the end of the day, I know these guys want to get paid for what they put into the game. If the NFL is a billion dollar business corporation, these guys can get, can, can get their millions off for being the stars of their position. DeAndre Hopkins is a star at his position, right? All right, but anyway, as far as the Ravens go, um, it seems as though that Odell Beckham contract um, really did affect the way that DeAndre Hopkins market shaped out, right? Because it seemed like um, according to Albert Breer, right, he said that we said this, we mentioned this a few times. The Chiefs essentially gave Donovan Smith the money they had earmarked for DeAndre Hopkins. After Odell's, after Odell Beckham's, excuse me, money changed the dynamic in negotiations. The Titans got way closer to what the Ravens gave OBJ than the Chiefs were going to. It's right there. This NFL insider, he knows the business, he knows what's going on, right? So the Chiefs. Saw what the Ravens paid Odell Beckham. That changed how DeAndre Hawkins market went. They went and instead paid uh, Donovan Smith the tackle, right, to fill in, kind of fill in that gap that they're losing with uh, Orlando Brown coming over to Cincinnati. All right, and that's that. That so that broke that that shut them out. The Bills never had a lot of cash space this offseason, to be quite honest, right? So that shut them out too. Um, the Titans were able to give DeAndre Hawkins closer to what Odell Beckham got and what he wanted, and as simple as that, right? So for the Ravens, quote-unquote, overpaying Odell Beckham, if it comes with the price tag of keeping DeAndre Hopkins away from one of these super contenders in the AFC, the AFC's already tough enough, it's money well spent. That's the cherry on the top right there, right? So um, I think that the Odell Beckham deal looks even better, to be quite honest with you, right? I think he's going to have a great year. I think he's going to be a guy that the Ravens can depend on this season because – Yes, they gave him a lot of money. They did, right? But we also got to remember that this is this is a one-year contract for Odell Beckham, right? If he goes out there, get hurt, get hurt again, um, doesn't have a good season, 
you know, you could be coming to the end of the line for Odell. He's past 30. He's, he, that would be coming off of multiple injuries after being injured previously. So that would drastically affect his market. Now, I think the Ravens have kind of dead cap money tied into Odell, uh, void years, stuff like that, the way he'll probably be on the team next year regardless. Um, but it's best for both parties if Odell has a great year because then the Ravens will want to pay him and he'll get paid. So it's a win-win for both sides. So, um I think it's a great deal. I think the fact that, like I said, it could get uh, DeAndre Hawkins away from the Chiefs because that seemed to be the main team that was really, really going to go after him. You can't have it any better than that right there. So um, I think it's interesting for the Titans. I do. Um, I think that, like I said, it gives them that young guys, a young quarterback, even their young receivers like Traylon Burke, a guy that they can look up to and ask questions. You know what I mean? Uh, how you do this or that. Uh and make that offense interesting, right? Because before this signing of Hawkins, their wide receiver core was 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 pretty bad, right? Now it's at least um, closer to average, which is great, which is great. You know, you don't always need superstars at every position to have a decent wide receiver core. You don't, right? Um, so that's good for them. But as far as for the Ravens, this is a huge win right here, man. Um, the Chiefs are still going to be good without DeAndre Hawkins. The Bills are still going to be good without DeAndre Hawkins. But um, you didn't, we didn't need them getting any better. Uh, the Ravens did a lot to improve this offseason, especially when it comes to adding wide receivers at um, at multiple points for agency draft, all of that. Um, yeah, man. So, listen, I'm excited for this upcoming season, as we've said many times. The Ravens rookies, I believe, into the building this week. So, that means training camp were really here. Um, I got some – well, I really only got two training camp passes. I got one. I think it's July 28th or 29th, one of those two dates, and then uh, I'm going to the stadium, you know what I mean, for the uh, the open practice at the, at the M&T Bank Stadium. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited for that, excited, because last year I didn't get any of the training camp passes and those joints sold out in like two minutes. This year it was probably still somewhere around the same, but I was able to get one. Um, so I'm happy about that, man. But um, that's all I got to say about this, man. The Ravens um, blocking, essentially, DeAndre Hopkins going to the Chiefs is a big win for the Ravens. And um, it's a great win to start off before the even before the season even starts. To me, the Ravens got their first W, so I'm happy with it, man. Uh, good luck to DeAndre Hawkins in Tennessee and everything like that. But uh, give me your thoughts in the comments about the signing. Um, is it a big deal for the Ravens? You know, I could be overreacting. Let me know. All right. Uh, but I'm gonna get out of here, man. It's Gabriel, just other fan TV. I'm out.